So I've got the uh, two cylinder Briggs stacker apart again here. Um, just installed the uh, even fire crankshaft and I will uh, spin it over here to show you how that works. So in this case uh, both pistons come to the top at the same time. I got a time so that uh, the top cylinder which I call number one is uh, firing uh, so it goes down on power stroke and at the same time the intake valve on the bottom cylinder opens up on the inlet stroke then uh, as the piston reaches the bottom the exhaust valve on number one opens and uh, number two cylinder comes up on compression then inlet valve on number one opens and uh, just as number two fires and both go down and exhaust valve on number two opens so basically there's always a valve open on this engine inlet valve on two opens and it's number one's turn exhaust valve inlet valve so I'm kind of curious uh, how this engine is going to do balance wise with uh, both uh, pistons coming up at the same time. They were uh, going opposite directions before so I think that may have uh, cancelled out some of the forces but uh, anyway uh, glad to know that my uh, my crankshaft design held up. Uh, I was able to uh, take it apart uh, fairly easily just had to make a, an ingenious slide hammer out of a damaged crankcase cover and um, the first hit with that and it uh, came right off so so I've now got uh, the, the other crankshaft installed there and, and uh, so basically I made a crankshaft and a half so my crankshaft um, comes apart I won't uh, won't give any more details than that but uh, and because it comes apart um, I was uh, worried about it uh, snapping in half so uh, but that hasn't happened yet and uh, there didn't appear to be uh, significant wear on it so uh, that's a good thing uh, hopefully should get uh, more running out of this engine so I'm curious about uh, exhaust temperatures and things now uh, with it being an even fire engine so I'll take more temperature readings and uh, other things so uh, anyway uh, just wanted to say that I appreciate all you folks that are uh, interested in this engine and appreciate you watching the videos and for uh, asking uh, uh, questions and comments or just leaving uh, other, other uh, things and comments. Appreciate that. I try to answer as many uh, comments and questions back as I uh, have time to. I'm a little bit limited on uh, internet time since I uh, only have it at the library and uh, a little bit at lunchtime at work. So uh, once again, I appreciate all your input and your uh, shared interest in uh, small engines so uh, everyone uh, have a good one and I'll uh, get this up and running as uh, fast as I can here